Welcome everyone to another episode of Le Plata, where last episode we fought the Great War and lost it severely. But on the good side, we didn't lose any of our land, none of our empire was fragmented, and even with the fact we are paying war reparations to these guys, we're still keeping up. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's honestly not costing us too much to keep up with this, because our economy was already hella good before we started, so yeah, this is awesome. I mean, we could honestly... Bring up more great wars. This seems like something that we could, you know, profit off of. And anyways, with that with that thought inside your head, let's continue with our game. Yay. Uh, railroads or... Ooh, actually, I want to get this. Because I want to get my uh, troops as the best they can ever be. And yeah. So yeah, even even with the fact we lost a great war and, you know, you know, potentially should be like in damage crippling position like most, Euro like most Europeans are. We're actually profiting pretty fine. I mean, our government's doing fine. We're doing okay. Um, I'm really kind of hoping that at some point these guys expand so that we can keep conquering more and more of India. Because I really want to make India. Like, somebody mentioned it a couple episodes ago that I really want to make India. And I totally agree. I really want to see India live too. Because I usually don't get to see that. Uh, let's see. You guys... You guys are, like, educated enough. Do you guys have enough people... No, you guys are still mostly not me. <laughs> and let's see. Yeah, I would really love to see that. I mean, it sounds like something really interesting. Oh, man, did I miss you when I was originally coming around? Uh, okay. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. And yeah, now what we're going to do for the next couple of years is just kind of relax, build up our economy again. And once we have the opportunity to, we're going to build up our troops again. Because as you guys all know, we technically cannot build up any troops for the next, like, five years because of the, uh, disembark disembarkment we have right now under us. Also, the British are discrediting us in a couple places. We also have a couple people conquering us in Scandinavia. I really don't know when I did this. But apparently I did, and it was a big event. Uh, you ain't getting that place. When- wait. When did Poland become in the sphere- when- Okay. I'm seriously wondering where all these nations became under the sphere of me. I mean, I don't mind protecting more nations. I mean, I am Le Plata and we should be taking more responsibility for our actions, but... I mean, goodness gracious, where the heck are all these nations coming from? Hi. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be main- we're gonna be maintained to being a great power because... We have enough prestige and enough, um, industry to keep us going. We don't have any worries about dropping down, which is good. Which, I, I was actually really worried about that. I was like, oh no, we better not drop down. We better not drop down. The Germans are going to have a hell of a time trying to guard their nation because they absolutely can't build up anything. Oh my goodness. They might, they might actually become, well, I guess they're technically a different type of Germany than what we imagined them to be. But this is, this is interesting. Having Germany, Austria, and the Soviet Union all communist. And Yugoslavia, of course. It's like, we have a gigantic Eastern Bloc right now. Like, this is like pre-Cold War already. Like, a gigantic Eastern Bloc. It's right there. Right there, people. I mean, Romania is also communist, but they're also part of our empire, so it's like, eh, you guys can be mad at me, but I'm still your leader. Let's see, pacifism. What? Why don't you guys want to be pacifists? Yeah, we'll get good pensions. I don't mind giving out more money to people. That's probably going to collapse my economy just a little bit. Yep, it is. Okay. The way you fix that is you quickly get 55% taxes. Now we're paying... Now my people are giving me more than 55% of what they owe. But that's still okay because my economy can still take it. That's a good point. Is that my economy can take whatever you guys throw at me. Oh my goodness. Please don't tell me we have any revolts though. Good thing no revolts. <laughs> oh my goodness. If we had revolts right now, that would probably collapse my entire system. I don't think I could actually fight that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Pitting. The only place that probably I would be safe is probably India. Because India has such a good, like, friendship with us. Mosor has suffered with us. And hopefully the factories are keeping alive. The one I need to stay alive has to stay alive. Like, it has to. If it dies, you will have major difficulties. Major. Let's see. Geneva Convention. British have annexed Burma. The Chinese are in complete Jacobson rebel territory. I know how that feels, guys. I've been through that. Um, <laughs> oh, poor China. Poor, I feel so bad for China in this timeline. Like, 
They got beat up a lot, and they just industrialized, so maybe they might be able to catch up to me, but... Man, I just... I feel bad for them, like... I feel so, so bad for them. And let's see, Japan actually became a great power, wow. Okay, to war, Jindo, I'm gonna put a le little bit less influence in you. And... Yeah, Japan is now a great power, that took us a long, long time to achieve, but... Good job for them! Also, I apparently have a ton of different little vassals underneath me. Also... Scandinavia owns China. What the heck, Scandinavia? That... That seems kind of like... A little bit unfair, I would say, because it's like you own the biggest state. Well, they are kind of dying right now, but still, you own the biggest state in the entire game. I mean, influence-wise, you have a major influence around the world just because you own the Qing. Right. Uh, please call the rebels. I don't... Okay. Future matters. Do not tell me I'm going to become communist again. That already happened once. I don't want that to happen again. Also, the Soviet Union is owned by Austria. That is hilarious. <laughs> wow, that looks really weird. Austrian block right there. And then you go, then my block over here. You look at my block, Austria. Ha ha. Uh, I own so much around... I guess keep establishing democracy around the world. I don't know. Uh, and then there's the American and my block. We're kind of divided up here. Yeah. Yeah, look, this is solidly underneath my control, which is good. And then... This is... Europe, man. Europe became such an interesting place now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Communism is hope, I guess? Like I said, I just need to build that one tank factory still. And then I'd be done. I don't really need to actually have the communists in power. Because I feel like the communists are very sketchy right now, considering how much they own. Uh, yeah, I'm actually, I actually feel the pressure, guys. I actually feel the pressure of the communists here. Wow. Okay, and I need to know, how long is this, um, modifier of no war exhaustion going to last? Expires 1922. Um, central bank, passports, I get that. Um, let's see, when can we build up our army again? Wait, let's see. Um, I'm guessing, I'm guessing we're not going to be able to do it until two more years, so let's just relax. Just enjoy the world as it slowly goes to places I don't want to know. Uh, just relax, everyone. Oi. Fascism! Goodness gracious, my, con my Congress is also becoming more and more unstable the more and more parties we have in it. Groups, Panama, good, okay. Sign of Geneva? Nah, we, we still don't want to sign that to this day. Polvon, Pomerania. Uh, uh, sure, you could convert it to wool. I, I don't really care too much. Oh man, the Bavarian Republic. Uh, I can't even say that. So many things. So many things about this world, man. It's so much different than the world we are known to. And yet, there's also so much the same. Okay, modern military armament into war. And then Malaysia. Oh, yeah, I forgot Malaysia formed in this. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> it seems like the Qing Empire is getting control of their rebels. That's good. That's really good, actually. You know, if they get control of their rebels, that's really good. If they were nationalist rebels, too. But you know what I do? I do exactly what I did in my other campaign. Like, make nationalist China or make Republic of China. And then once this party switches to us, we gain all of China. It's a little cheeky tactic, I know, but it gives us a lot. Also, Yugoslavia, you guys are not a part of us anymore, I guess? Okay, sweet. We'll just slowly annex you guys back in our empire. I mean, really, it's like, we will, this will all be a part of ours eventually. Just a matter of time. <laughs> also, I don't see Italy being under control of the Austrians for very long, because... Italy does like to expand, especially into Australian land. Man, Austria, you got beefed up by a lot. I mean, you guys look very tough. Very tough. Germany looks like it's been declawed right now. I look like I'm just over here being the 12th power of the world, which stinks. Uh, grumble, grumble, grumble. Okay, and then French Ethiopia. Whoa. Let's see. The Labyrinth? Huh. That's interesting, Belgium. Let's see, uh... Want to build up more troops. This is such a good time to build up more troops. 
Oh man, I feel like I'm so glad I have rebels. Oh my goodness. Uh, prevent the organizer. Yeah, please don't. Uh, this is like the perfect. I'm in right now, people. I'm in perfect breeding ground for like communists and fascists. I can't build up my army, and the other world powers are like at my throat right now. If I try to do anything, they're going to declare war. And the game prevents me from doing anything. So right now, this is like the perfect time for any kind of rebellion to show up and kick my butt. So I'm really scared right now. I'm really hella scared. And we could have a big gigantic revolt that could turn us into a uh, communist nation. Or a fascist nation. Or any other type of nation that really is not good or happy for my people. I mean... Granted, we don't exactly treat our minorities right, but, I mean, everything else about our country is pretty awesome. I mean, we have universal suffrage, we have Beijing, China, oh my goodness. Dang it, I should have switched. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so everyone, Beijing, China is back. Yay. That means I may have to... Oh, damn it. And here comes the... Uh, here comes this, the little guys thinking that, oh, I'm going to totally beat up, going to totally beat up the, uh, armies. An excellent initiative, we accept. Hey, get on my screen, little bug. Right, there we go. Okay, bring our infantry up. Let's see, do I have enough troops to guard my empire? Hey, you guys, go hunt. Hey, you guys, go down, go hunt. We need to go kill these guys before they start spawning a hell of a lot more. I mean, this is only, as I know for experience, this is only the beginning. Soon we will have tons of people wanting more, asking for more, and having way more revolts than we need to deal with. <laughs> uh, also, Republic of Britannia. Yes, we shall attend the Olympic Games. Also, I think the Republic of China could now be potentially broken up into a lot of different nations. I think you'd only need about one war. Oh yeah, we can't go to war right now. But, we need, we just need one war and I think you'd be able to break them up. Can I even influence them or would I have to go to war for them? Yeah, I'd have to go to war for them. They're too big right now. They're too big. Are they fat? Ugh, don't tell me the fascists. Oh, the reactionary. Okay, that's fine. They can be reactionary because the reactionaries I can deal with. Fascism and communism, I can't. Okay, let's see, Germany's all that, hmm, and then everyone's trying to fight me over here for Sweden, I'm not even doing it, Germany, you guys, Germany, you guys just called me into a war that nearly destroyed me, no, yeah, no, I'm not. Sorry, Germany. You guys called me into a war that nearly destroyed my empire. I'm not. You guys kind of owe me more things than you than I owe you. Okay. And no, I'm not gonna fight. I could probably fight Belgium, but yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not causing anything or doing anything that could potentially unstabilize my empire. Because right now we are on very, very slippery slopes with the empire. I mean, at any point in time, we could potentially just vanish, which is bad. Mm. And the taxes are raising up slowly but surely. But I should only have a couple more years of this. This, the warlord, oh my goodness, it finally happened! Everyone, look! It's the warlord period in China! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness! <laughs> For those who guys who are educated about what the World War period is, this basically means we're a time of China where a bunch of other states decide to declare war to try to unite all, you know, they basically fought against each other. It was a gigantic civil war, let's just say that. It was a gigantic civil war in China's period where a bunch of generals took lands and became their own warlords and, yeah, did stuff. And apparently this has started now. Hmm. Which means we could possibly get involved in this, or we could just watch as it slowly degenerates China into a massive cluster mess. I think we're going to do the second one, because I'm kind of interested in seeing how this is all going to turn out. And, yeah. We could also... Hmm. We have no army over here. Forgot that all my army just got, like, blown up. 
So we have absolutely no army still. We should be able to build it by the end of this year. Oh my goodness, my army. Under peace, yes, I know we're still under the peace. Still under that peace treaty. By the way, our population is just booming right now. No war till September 4th. Okay. Yay! September 4th, everyone. We're going to be out of this stupid, like, non declaring war state and stop building up by December 4th. Oh, but wasn't these, wasn't these five years just joyful? I thought they were so joyful. We had absolutely nothing happen to us. We had very much peace and tranquility, and it was kind of awesome. Yeah, you, the Germans aren't going to like us for a while. I already know this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Lavis Expedition, of course. I'll do all these events. Let's see. Lavis Expedition and National Conference. And there we go. Gives me enough good prestige of everything. And, yeah, I wonder how this is going to turn out. Because I'm pretty sure they, yeah, every single one of these guys gets a claim on the other. Oh, no! The Zeppelin explodes! The Boa Rios Le Plata finest Zeppelin has crashed during a, a landing at a local air dome. Eyewitnesses claim the entire construct burst into a fireball and fell to the ground ablaze. Only one of the 1550 passengers survived. And even this is seen as a miracle considering the raging inferno that developed in the airship. Oh, the inhumanity! Wow. <laughs> so I had the Zeppelin event happen to us. Didn't ever think I'd ever get that in my life. Oh my goodness. Uh, sure. Guns on Clink. You know, Guns on Clink wants to be a free nation. I mean, it does have Guns on Lower Clink to deal with. Guns on, uh, does Guns on Lower Clink have a claim on all of China too? It does. It's been the most free country out of them all. In fact, it's still a presidential dictatorship actually now I look at it. But, Guns on Clink, so what should they, okay, if you guys try to declare war on me, I will kick you kick your butt just saying that now and I still as we are under a peace treaty that has forced us to dissolve okay I get that when does this treaty end is that the no when does my treaty end like okay you know what this is actually a better way of looking at it click on me click on me when does my treaty end with you guys 1924 goodness gracious we have two more years people Two more years! Yay! <laughs> Goodness gracious, this stinks. Uh, being a constant peace is like... Uh, okay. Well, I might as well watch how China deals with its gigantic civil war. Beijing, so far... Mm, let's do that one. So far, Beijing, China is probably the weakest looking one out of them all. I mean, this one right here, Antoton Clique. Seems like it's going to be the most powerful one out of all the other warring states. And that's the one I'm really kind of scared of because if they actually, you know, it's actually a good thing if we keep China divided. If we keep China divided, this will make sure that we never have to deal with a gigantic Chinese flu in the future. However, what that also means is that this could potentially back, this could potentially, well actually there is no bad thing about them being divided because then it just causes us major amounts of good things happen to us. But we're going to see, hopefully, we'll be able to cast our votes into, I kind of want to claim some of China while we're here, but I need to wait for one of these, I, can we claim you guys? No, you're too big, already, you're too big, already, oh my goodness, okay, let's see, upper house of reigns, fascism is of course becoming in power because of our economic woes, yeah. This is great war. <laughs> uh, no, we will not give the fascists more power. No, we are not becoming fascists. I think I draw my line at fascism. I can become a communist. I won't become a fascist. Okay, and Germany's trying to mobilize itself to try to protect itself. Uh, colonial incidents with the Republic of Britannia. If I had the military might, I would totally use it. Because the great war experience. Yeah. Yeah. Even though we fought through two Great Wars experience, this is the Great War experience. Alright. And let's see. Any factories need upgrading? Yeah, a couple of these do. Do 
Ah, damn it! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.